Hello all. Uh, my name is Anna Anund and I work as a research director at VTI in Linköping in Sweden. This presentation is about Ara Sanmi, one of the European funded projects. Uh, the presentation will cover an overview and then I will uh, move on to the achievements. Ara Sanmi uh, was finalized in the end of February this year and in December last year, <coughs> sorry, we had our final event. And what you see here is four out of our five demonstrators. The vision of RSME was to develop an advanced driver assistance systems that incorporate driver rider state, situational environmental context and adaptive interaction to automatically transfer the control between the vehicle and the driver or rider in a safe way. So what is unique here is that RSME is built around the human. It's much more human centered than vehicle centered. Uh, this means that we are not focusing on only one uh, demonstrator, instead we have five, both conventional and electric car, a truck, a bus and a motorcycle. The mission of Arasemi was to develop this driver ride vehicle interaction that avoid critical scenarios. And this was done with help of a personalized and driver state adaptive information warning and intervention solution. And the intervention we used uh, was possible to use thanks to automation. In addition, we work with designing the persuasive transition with safe excavation strategies. And um, I mean, uh, based on current and predicted driver states and the criticality of scenarios and its environmental context, we uh, managed to achieve our mission. Aras and me uh, is based around seven use cases in those five demonstrators. One is for long haul trucking, two are for riders, where one is attentive touring, one is for rail fight. We have a bus uh, where we focus on automated docking at bus stops. We have an electrical vehicle focusing on range anxiety, and we have the uh, conventional car focusing on smooth and safe automation transition based on driver state knowledge and also uh, an emergency maneuver based on a non-reacting driver. In total, we cover six driver rider states. It's sleepiness, distraction, stress, emotion, physiological fatigue for riders and rest for truck drivers. Uh, both the system architecture and actually the HMI strategies are generic uh, and then adaptive uh, for each of the use cases, uh, depending on their needs. So first we identify the driver state we needed to focus on, and then we added on the sensors and um, the structure you can see uh, here. Uh, when it comes to the, uh, the testing, both for the HMI, but also, uh, of course, for the data we needed for the uh, detection and prediction algorithm development, uh, was using a, a wide range of uh, platforms. It was simulators, mock-ups, and moving based. It was real road testing. It was VR testing. So a lot of drivers were involved both uh, to create data for algorithm development and for fusion of algorithms, but also for the HMI parts. So now I will move on to the different use cases. So I will start with the truck uh, and the attentive long haul trucking scenarios. The main innovation here was the use of a single sensor, just one single sensor to support the detection of four driver states. It was sleepiness, distraction, frustration, and resting. Uh, we also managed to have an HMI strategy and an adaptive HMI logic uh, that we are uh, proud of. And then we also, in this use case, have this video-based emotion algorithm uh, integrated. And finally, uh, an innovation is that we, we managed to have a well-accepted and understood handover and takeover procedure. But we need to be humbled. We also learned a lot. First of all, we would like to recommend that the future tests are done in fully automated trucks. And uh, the sensors that we use needs to be well integrated so they will be safe also to use on real roads. We also think that the REST algorithm that was developed has a major uh, innovation uh, future, uh, but it needs to be tested during real working conditions. Moving on to the electrical vehicle range anxiety uh, use case. Uh, the main innovation here was the adaptive HMI uh, to real-time anxiety measurements. 
It's based on a multimodal AI-based uh, system that was embedded in the vehicle. Uh, we also think that one of the main innovations here are the automatic rerouting to a charging station nearby. Uh, recommendations from this work, some of them are that we can see that people really want uh, the possibility to control the HMI with voice. We can also see that this type of solutions will hopefully, uh, I mean, it looks like uh, this from our results, uh, increase the EV acceptance levels. And we can also see that there are um, an importance of also, of course, improve uh, the HMI parts uh, to increase a higher understanding. And this is important from a usability point of view. Then moving on to the car use case, uh, the main innovation here is that we managed actually to integrate hardware and software for assessment of four different driver states into one demonstrator. This was very demanding, but it was solved. We can see that we have managed to develop a well accepted and safe driver state adapted interaction strategy for vehicle HMI. And we also see that we manage, and one of the innovation is really the driver state related minimum risk maneuver in case of a non reacting driver. Some recommendations for the future is that more uh, effort needs to be put on the multiple driver state fusions. Now we have focus on the single ones uh, for the majority of the work, but the integration itself is super important. So here we need more research. And we can also see that uh, based on the, the learning here that the driver state adaptive HMI plays an, a central role uh, to achieve a well accepted interaction strategy in automated vehicles. Moving on to the rider, uh, here the uh, innovative capsize control software that was uh, capable of stabilizing the bike even if the rider was not on is really innovative. Uh, but also the integration of the, the, the communication between the protective gear and the bike and the possibility to have this like HMI device management both in the vehicle and on the rider. The main future recommendations here are the, the development of the detection algorithms. So we learned that it's super difficult to, to say, I mean, we cannot like transfer what we know about distraction from normal drivers into riders because they behave in a super dif different way. So this is something we work with more. Uh, we also need to improve the electronic subsystems integration in thorax and gloves with more flexible circuits and also work on the the power delivery to those systems. And then last but not least, uh, we have uh, the use case about automated docking at bus stops. And here the main innovation was that we managed to have an implementation of an automated deduction, uh, docking functionality in the bus. We had the driver state adapted transition HMI strategy, meaning that we were, did not allow the bus driver to get the control back if he or she was distracted or uh, sleeping. Uh, and uh, we also managed to have uh, a new type of implementation of the driver distraction algorithm, uh, where we took the environment time history and the visual time sharing into account. Some future recommendations are the generalizing uh, of the distraction algorithm that was developed to also other transport modes. Uh, we also would like to improve the HMI to avoid attentional um, cost associated with this transfer of control. Now the driver had to look at the steering wheel, for example, to, to confirm, and this also influenced the attentional uh, within the driver. Uh, we also think it's important to continue the work on eye tracking algorithms, so they works for all types of situations, also automation, and also for all drivers. And Last but not least, we would like to see an integration of this system into a real bus uh, so we really can evaluate the, the effect on real drivers. So thank you so much. Um, I uh, look forward to get questions from you and I also would like to recommend you to go to Alas and Mead's webpage because all the deliverables are online. Uh, thank you so much.